Hello everyone, welcome back. Yes, your coach is on fire. This is the fourth video I've released today. Yes, can you shout out your coach? Hashtag four videos. So guys, and this is a series talking about nurses in your home care business. So this video is, um, and welcome. You know, I always like to welcome my new people and welcome all of you that come back every single week. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the comments. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. And I'm so, so thankful that you guys, you know, find so much value in these short, quick videos that I'm dropping for you guys every week. So make sure you comment below and let me know. Give me some love. Let me know what you're thinking about the videos, what titles you would like me to um, talk about. And that would be awesome, right? So um, this video is going to be about... Hmm, let me see. See, this is how I do video, guys. I literally think of topics because I know what you guys need <laughs> because I've experienced it. So this video topic is gonna be, let's see, this is number four. How much should I pay my registered nurse? How much should I pay my registered nurse to do a comprehensive assessment? That's the question I get all the time. Really, really all the time. Even in my VIP coaching program, my clients are always wondering, guys, it's real simple. And there's no magic um, number, right? So it really depends. It's like real estate. It's like saying, how much should I pay for this house? How much should I pay for this car? How much should I pay for my glasses? Guys, there's no one answer because there's so many variables, right? So what I would recommend is that one, you make sure you're competitive, right? Because you want to get a registered nurse that is the bomb. And personally, I have not ran across any registered nurses that are not or is not any nurse that is not the bomb. So I highly, 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 I love registered nurses. If I could just say shout out to all the registered nurses, shout out to all the registered nurses. We love you. We cannot have successful businesses without you if we're in a regulated state that requires. So I just hat off my hat off to all the registered nurses out there. LPNs, nurse practitioners, CNAs. I mean, I just, I just love you guys. So, um, look, I got a little off track, like just straight from the heart, right? The nurses are just so invaluable. I mean, in so many ways, so many sectors, so many, it's just, it just that's a whole nother video. Maybe I just do a video saying how much I love, love y'all. Right. So back to, um, the, the topic, how much should I pay my, my registered nurse to do a comprehensive assessment? It's hard. So you have to do your due diligence. You want to be competitive. You want to find out what your market is, you know, um, offering and do some competitive shopping. Check around with some other agencies. If you're in any, you know, Facebook groups, ask, you know, inside of the Facebook groups. If you're in any of my Facebook groups, right? So I have a paid mentorship um, that's only $97 a month. Um, you can ask in there. I have a free Facebook group, which is Coach Michelle's Home Care Community. You can ask in there, right? So, um, and if you're a VIP coaching client, then of course you can ask inside of our um, Zoom sessions, coaching sessions um, to get that information. And then of course there's others in your state that may be on the session that can, you know, share that information as well. But I would say check the job boards, you know, check the different job boards and see what other people are listing. I would say Google, there's, um, I think it may be called scale.com, but you can check to see, you know, what that resource is saying. Usually that's a little higher because it's focusing on facilities, but it at least give you a comparison. And then of course, like I, I mentioned briefly, you know, do some competitive shopping and see what other um, agencies, not just home care, hospice, home health, see what they're offering as well. Insurance companies, right? For nurses to go out and do assessments. Um, you know, so just check around and figure out what you want to do. Now, personally, I recommend just paying per visit, per task versus hourly, right? So that's one thing. If you're sending a nurse out to go out as an employee or, um, as a contractor, which is what I recommend, look at my third video I released today, and um, and then pay by the task, right? So usually I pay, you know, paid ten or twenty dollars more if the assessment was done on a weekend, 
um, than, you know, ver uh, versus during the weekdays. So you just have to figure out what that looks like. The other thing, guys, is usually when a registered nurse is applying for a position, guess what? They may already be working in that capacity with another home care agency or, um, uh, or um, agency that's registered and um, licensed through the same division that you are, DCH or, you know, whatever is called in your state. So on the um, application, they're going to put their pay. So you can use that as a guide as well. So when you have registered nurses filling out applications, make sure you pay attention to what they're being paid for comprehensive assessments or what their hourly rate is and, and things like that. So those are the tips that I would recommend when you're trying to come up with how much to pay your registered nurse to do those tasks, right? So a supervisory visit for a registered nurse to go out for a supervisory visit may not, I say should not, but you know, it's up to you and your business, um, be the same as a comprehensive assessment because a head to toe comprehensive assessment takes much more time than a supervisory visit, but you know, that usually takes 30 minutes or less because there's just a couple of questions that need to be answered. So, um, so just come up with your pricing. And then when you have your first, when you have your first interview and when you share that rate or when you're talking over the phone, matter of fact, guys, that's another tip and something that you could do when you're having that conversation over the phone, when, when a registered nurse applies for your, um, open position, ask at that time, you know, what are you currently making? You know, and then that way, if you don't have and quote, don't have the right um, dollar amount at that time, you're going to find out quick. Find out over the phone. Make sure you ask that question because now it's like you're doing a survey. You're testing the water. You're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. And then you're able to tweak yours. You may be too high. You may be too low. And the last thing I'll leave you guys with, guess what? You it, it's, it's an expense, but guess what? You're going to charge your client for it. So when you go out to do your visit, it's free. You're going out to talk, you know, to solidify and stuff. And then you're sending your registered nurse. So guess what? That's an expense that the client is paying for. So it's not like it's coming out of your pocket, out of your profit. So just make sure you think about everything holistically when you're coming up with your prices, how much you're charging your clients, how much you're paying your, your staff, all of those things. And do it up front. Walk and talk yourself through it. And make sure it makes sense. Make sure you're not, um, um, and just basically make sure you're competitive. So that's it. If you have any questions, jot them down below. If you are interested in coaching services, check out myhomecarecoach.com. And don't forget to get your ticket. We have about 50, as of the other day, I think it was 54 to be exact. We have 54 early bird tickets left for our 2023 Home Care Empowerment Conference. Baby, if you have not heard or attended a home care empowerment conference, let me just tell you, ain't no conference like the Coach Michelle Conference. Ain't no conference like the Coach Michelle Conference. Look at my um, uh, reviews online. Look at some of the pictures, some of the videos that are out there on my website. Ain't no conference like the uh, Coach Michelle Conference. So y'all take care. God bless. This is the fourth video today. I'm super excited. Hashtag consistency. Hashtag surfers. Love you guys. Take care. God bless.